What's going on, y'all? It's I, some Joe Schmo back here with a Cobra Kai reaction season five, episode one, titled Long, Long Way From Home. And already based on that thumbnail, man, you know, reflecting on my time within, what is it, season four, the end of it, I never thought I would miss uh, Crease in, in an episode of Cobra Kai, but, you know, rightfully so. I, I, I can see uh, how everything kind of unfolded here. The triumphant return of Terry uh, and how pretty much Crease thought he was in the uh, the power, that had the power, had the control over uh, Crease this whole time, only for Terry to kind of just pull a fast one on us. And I got to say, that was set up perfectly because I thought this entire time Crease had him by the balls, had him by, uh, um, you know, this sense of we were in uh, Nam together, I saved your life, you owe it to me. But as the season kind of went on, you can kind of see the, uh, uh, what is it, the mental breakdown of Terry to be like going from friend to like kind of reading Kreese's manipulation, right? And for me, I always thought like Kreese like thought he had the upper hand the entire time, but like in actuality, had no idea what was happening. There were some breadcrumbs spread out throughout the season though of obviously uh, Terry trying, you know, overstepping his boundaries a little bit, but hot damn, dude. I, I never, I never would have thought that now Terry coming back, Kreese out of the game, and now Terry is running Cobra Kai. And then we have Danny and bringing in good old Chosen. Man, I feel like we're like pulling out all the stops here uh, when it comes to season five of just uh, uh, Chosen now being on Danny's side. We got the, uh, the, the, the the repairing of the butt buddies, Johnny and, and Danny. Crease maybe coming over. So it's like a four on one with uh, 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 Terry and his crew. Theoretically speaking, so uh, a lot of uh, a lot to look forward to with this season. I feel like the only th I, I, I I avoided a lot of spoilers, avoided a lot of things about season five. I feel like, and forgive me for bringing this up, I feel like the only thing I ever heard about it was that people were claiming like season five uh, uh, went like really woke. Um, I, I I don't I, I think that's I, I think it's dumb. I mean, I think this show has really handled like today's culture and climate like really well with how they're portraying Johnny's character as being somebody in the past. And there have been these moments throughout the entire four seasons of these, uh, um, like I said, woke moments. But I never really got the sense of it like doubling down. So I obviously have never seen this season. I don't know what it's uh, what it's about, where we're going with it all. Um, I just heard a lot. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's just like today's climate. You know, people just talk about bullshit like this. So I don't know. I'm going in with a very biased approach. I, or unbiased Pretty much just with the approach of enjoying Cobra Kai for what it is and, you know, knowing that Johnny has always been like somebody in this uh, uh, show that has been uh, aware of the climate and the culture and like uh, a fish out of water in that kind of like experience though, right? So I don't know. Only time will tell. But with that being said, we're going to stop talking. We're going to jump into this episode here. Uh, feeling a little under the weather here today. So uh, if I don't bring the energy, just bear with me. I'm going to I'm gonna try to do what I can. Bring that same uh, schmo kind of mentality into this episode. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Season five, episode one, a long, long way from home. Mexico. Within every punch and kick lies centuries of tradition. And now oh, shit. we want you to become part of its future. Oh, dude, is this an ad for what in God's name is happening here? Martial arts date back hundreds of years. Our dojo is committed to providing state-of-the-art. <laughs> we have the technology. We can make them faster, stronger. Can be a winner. I wonder how she's going to be. And then Kenny, man, looking up. Kenny's looking a little psychotic. It's a new era at Cobra Oh, Park. my God. Come join Damn, my man's hair. <laughs> looking bodacious. Check this shit out, dude. An ad immediately at the beginning of the episode. And we know that, yeah, Miguel is in, uh, are going to try to find his dad in Mexico. Is this the match? The match in the pool? Or... <laughs> Good morning, Amanda -san. Oh my god. This man... <laughs> Chosen in the buff, dude. My man looking... Pretty packed though, dude. He's got some uh, some muscle dents on. Back in Okinawa, he'd start every morning bathing in his local hot spring. <laughs> Let's get him a membership to the YMCA. There are places he can be naked that aren't our backyard. You said the All Valley was the end of it. Sam and Tori had their match. Nobody got hurt. Chris even went to jail. It's a karate miracle. This should be over. I know, but it's funny because I feel like she is taking like the the very um 
like rational mentality of things where it's like, yo, didn't we like kind of wrap all this shit up at the end of season four? Uh, but I mean, let's be real. We want another uh, season. We're going to get another season, Miss LaRusso. Ever. Amanda, and if I don't do something, it's only a matter of time before he's brainwashed all the kids in the valley. I'm not worried about all the kids in the valley. Although that, Danny does bring up a good point though, dude, right? Do you want a lot of assholes running around uh, all valley? Hill Valley? Hill Valley. That's, no, that's Back to the Future. Here we go, my man. Such a long trip, I aged one year. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, we know the protocol, man. I've been to Mexico several times. You buy one thing, everyone comes at you, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd love some help. Uh, my phone's out of don't service. trust uh, this guy. Oh, don't. Mm -mm. Get to one Easy prey, dude. Easy prey. Well, I mean, to be fair though, he does know karate, so I think, <laughs> yeah, never mind. What am I concerned about? Thank you guys. Yeah, no worries. I mean, it's not easy to find your way around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah actually, you don't mind giving me some pesos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how many? Oh, well, five bucks out there. All right. There you go. And how much you want to pay for the bag? The bag? Damn. You messing with the wrong motherfucker. I mean, I just figure a, a reward <laughs> might be in order. Yeah, no, since we wow, what a scumbag, man. How about my, uh, your reward is getting off this beach intact? Miguel, bust it out, bro. What are you doing? I mean, even though he does know more, I was gonna say more defense, but no, that's not true. He's a uh, Cobra Fang, baby. What, you didn't think I'd take all your money, did you? What kind of monster do you think I am? <laughs> right, yeah. A monster with a heart. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could have been a worse first impression, though, you know, all things considering. Yeah, my man's going, <laughs> it's going to go try to find him. Of course, I'd expect nothing less out of Johnny, though, too. Dude, he brought Mexican Cokes. I think here they're just Cokes. Oh, Mexican shit. Candy. He brought Robbie with him. Is Miguel going to take kindly to this? On one hand, it's like, I could see that being a really bad situation, but on the other hand, maybe uh, it's it's the, the, the season of redemption. Maybe everyone will just kind of let bygones be bygones. Also, I love seeing Robbie uh, smiling now, man. A little bit more, uh, a little bit more calm. And here. <laughs> so I'm saying, man, I love Johnny's character, man. FB, yeah, female, but of course. I got one for me too. So what are we actually doing here? <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. Damn, he doesn't know. It's just something we have to take care of first. Shit, Everyone, man. Gather around. Maybe uh, Robbie will look at it like, oh, he's trying to repair the things that... Maybe he's not the same person, huh? We walked away with a first place trophy thanks to Eli. Hell yeah. Yeah. As far as the rest of the tournament, well, it just didn't go our way. Because they cheated. We close our dojo if we lost. That's exactly what we're going to do. Because we can open up another dojo that's not Miyagi Do, right? Because now Chosen's gonna teach him, right? Continuing to operate Miyagi Do only leaves a target on your backs. Guys, I have to keep you safe. This dojo may be closing. Miyagi Do lives inside <gasps> each and But the things we learned here, the philosophies we've instilled. Come on, just tell me you got Chosen coming. Come on. That feels like a good out of that contract, right? <laughs> the contract that doesn't exist. This wouldn't even be happening if I hadn't lost to Tori at the tournament. All my fault. No, Sam. It's mine. This is real life. Dad, I can fight. This isn't your fight, Sam. I know firsthand that Silver isn't afraid of putting kids in harm's way. So please, just, just trust me on this. Damn. I feel like the more, like, scenes we get between uh, Sam and uh, her dad really makes me feel like it's like almost like a splitting image of Johnny and uh, uh, Danny's relationship. Whether sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off, you know, such is the relationship of a father-daughter, I guess. Speaking as somebody that doesn't have a daughter, I can only deduce. He called him son, unironically. Diaz? No, pues es un placer en conocerte, Miguelito. Mi madre es Carmen. Diaz? Se ve buena la ruca. Diaz de Ecuador. Yo soy mi papá. Pueblo, sácame este güey de aquí. Mm. Ooh. He's like, I ain't leaving till I get birthday cards, bitch. Now how about you dodge a bullet? 
<laughs> Se cree jefe, el güey. El vato que estás buscando no soy yo. I mean... La neta, yo no conozco a ninguna pinche Carmen. Si no te abres a la verga, todos los güeyes que ves aquí te van a meter unos putazos. I mean, regardless of how much karate you know, would you still want to like go about this this way, Miguel? Like, I get like you want answers, but this is like Mexico, man. You gotta, you gotta calm down. I'm sure they wouldn't hesitate to destroy your ass. How could you take me down to Mexico and not mention once we were going there? To you, Miguel. thank you. Come yes. On, Bobby, let's go down to Mexico together. Come back with some stories. <laughs> what I heard, Miguel. Yeah, we're on a repair tour right now. I just couldn't leave you at home. I'm done doing that. Besides, I need your help to find Miguel. My help? Uh, do you even have a plan? Kick ass, take names. I know where the kid gets off the bus, so that's our first stop. And when we get there, what do you plan on doing? I'll ask around if anyone saw Miguel. Wow. That's the big. I'm a... <laughs> I was gonna say asking for a Miguel in Mexico. Oh my god! <laughs> you drove me over a thousand miles to check a phone book. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, I thought this trip would help you, and Miguel, get over your shit. Look, when we get to the bus station. If you want to buy a ticket. Yeah, just use. Johnny and uh, uh, Danny's relationship as a means to like repair shit. Oh. Shit. Well, so long. I mean, Johnny, if he really wants to like repair this relationship, all he has to do is be like, listen, me and Danny were at odds with each other for years. Look what that did to us. It fractured this whole thing. Uh, uh, kids went to uh, prison. Kids went to the hospital. Uh, lives were ruined. Things were changed. Like, do you really want that as a 2.0 right now, Robbie? More importantly, you got to think long term. This is what we're up against. Terry Silver. That's why you're here. I tried to stop Cobra Kai on my own. Nothing's worked. We have to cut the head off the snake. I can do that. Sick, all right. Yeah. Whoa, with size, yo. <laughs> We're not for cutting, we're for blocking. Mm. Snapping, crawling, and gouging. Okay, Dylan, please. <laughs> this seems to be the best way of going about it, though, right? Just getting chosen to instill some philosophies on these kids. Students will see the light. The problem is, Silver may be crazy, but he's not dumb. He always thinks two moves ahead. You have to be careful with this guy. He must be careful with this guy. My man. My man. Oh man, she's replaying this fight in her head of like, what could I have done better? I mean, isn't that like the uh, the biggest thing on everyone's mind is like, it's always what ifs, right? When you deal with what ifs, you go down such a rabbit hole though. Oh, is she gonna see though? She's gonna like fast forward it back enough to see that she did get the point. She was in bounds. Oh, wait, is this his Uh oh. Oh, he had the wrong guy this whole time? How do you mess that up? <laughs> I mean, I guess never meeting your dad, right? You're bound to mistake in one or two. I lived in here, remember? Of course I remember. How the hell did you get this car anyway? I went looking for you. After you went missing, me and Larissa tried to find you. We found this hunk of junk instead. Ended up fighting the douchebags that stole it. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, I know I haven't been there for you. He's like, I'm not a monster, man. More times than I can count. But I've also failed Miguel. Hell, I'm the reason he ran off in the first place. He's trying to do good. Come on, Robbie. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. If you're serious about making things right, you can start by helping Miguel. I know you have your fair share of regrets when it comes to him. Look at this dude. Father teaching his son. Uh, what a hallmark moment this is. Johnny, are you at the bus station yet? Yeah, about that. Man, there are ridiculously good service in Mexico. I haven't been in a while, so maybe maybe service is a lot better. Who knows? With Hector having no idea he has a son and Miguel not answering my calls, maybe I should come down there, Johnny. No, there's no reason to put yourself in danger. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too true. Him, I promise. It's gonna be okay. This is cool, like, Robbie's getting a good, like, insight into his dad now, like, seeing how much he's matured and grown throughout these uh, last couple of seasons. I love this. What? What is it? Does he know him? I've seen these moves before. Kim Sung Young. Excuse me, my name is Terry Silver. My master is Kim Sung Young of South Korea. Oh, shit. Wait. <laughs> no shot, he was speaking facts. My uncle Sato did not speak much of Kim Sung Young, but I know he had much anger towards him. Sounds like Sato. I don't think Man, if Sato didn't like him, well, I mean, he also didn't like um, Miyagi, so. Kim Sung Young became known during Korean War. 
He taught mm. many American soldiers. Crease and silver were war buddies. Yep. What did he teach them? His style was um, controversial. What was controversial about He ripped the heart out of a man and eat it in front of him. <laughs> Jesus. Is that legal? <laughs> Can you just grab someone's throat like that in a, in karate? Well, Young's style is based on deception. Maybe not necessarily karate. No honor, no mercy. Oh. If Silva is student of Master Kim, we must be careful. All directed okay. attacks will be recognized. I don't want to attack him. I want to expose him. Whoa, 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 Danny. You got to calm down. There are children around here. I do kind of like this, though, right? Giving Chosen a little bit of a history with and Terry indirectly. And then, of course, Miguel's going to be shadowing. You don't think this guy's ever been shadowed before? Seems like a well-respected individual. Okay. Damn, what a stud. Ah, oh, Of course. The new family. Oh, man. It's like Peter Pan all over again in Hook. Dude, but I wonder by uh, Miguel, like, confronting that guy in the bar, if that's going to cause any, like, riffs at all, though. No habla as strangers, baby. <laughs> That's got to be a little reality check here, huh? All right, next bus leaves in a few hours. So buy your ticket, so some drinks and snacks. Where are you going? I think the guy says he thinks he saw Miguel talking to these surfers. Oh, shit. Here we go. Is it going to be a father, uh, father-son fight? These homeboys are going to come at him? English? Australian? All right, good enough. <laughs> 17, Ecuadorian. Slight bill, but we're working on that. Have you seen it? Gave him directions, yeah. <gasps> All right, great. Can you tell me which way he went? Damn, man. Running the con every single time. This is your lucky day, though, because you're about to get smacked. He's heading here. X marks the spot. It's a bad idea. <clears throat> Hell yeah. What's the scam? Give me some bum address, try to steal my wallet. You have five seconds to tell me which way that kid went. Well, I'm gonna take that surfboard and I'm gonna shove it so far up your ass mm. it's gonna be surfing you. Ow. <laughs> Been shitting flapjacks ever since. Ooh! Dude, I love this song. Did you look at that? Desperado. I don't know the lyrics, but I kind of know the melody though. Hell yeah, dude. Look at this. Look at this relationship building. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, mi amor. Dude, this song is so sick from... Come on, guys. Anyone who's seen Desperado knows this is a sick-ass intro. I'm more focused on the song than I am the fighting right now. Ooh, oh, shit. Not the boombox. We cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, we still don't know where Miguel is now, so that is that does present a problem, but... Yo, Miguel, you want to give it a little bit of space here, man? You're shadowing relatively close. <laughs> Damn. You know, for a minute there, though, Miguel thought. He thought about it. <laughs> he thought. <laughs> you saved my son. I am forever in your debt. Uh, by the way, you're my dad? Oh no, they're gonna. <laughs> Shit. Damn. Damn. You came looking for him. Now you got him and the family. It's wonderful to meet you, Miguel. It's nice to meet you too. Oh, but he seems like a nice guy. This is strange. I feel like I know you. I feel like. Uh, yep. We've met someone. Mm. <laughs> well, maybe you're a stranger, but tonight you're family, okay? Oh man, just twist the dagger, why don't you, pops? <gasps> Whew. This trip was a disaster from jump. You're right. It was a mistake to bring you here. I'm having fun kicking ass. Technically, you kidnapped and transported a minor. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. No one's got a passport in here. Come on. I feel like I need a little bit of reality right now. Your bus will be here soon. You should go. This is my mess to clean up. He's going to stay, isn't he? Say it. But I'm going to stay. Mm. Yes. Right and I want to help you. That's my bro right there. We're going. X marks the spot. Oh, okay, cool. At least he got the map. All right. That's sick, dude. Cool. 
Miguel, you got some friends, man. Our competition has closed up shop, and the valley now looks to us to lead the way. This is just the beginning. Sick. Right now, we're strangers. Ain't that the truth, huh? I can tell you we won't be strangers. But see, I feel like, yeah, there's a little sinisterism uh, behind uh, uh, Papa Miguel here, though, huh? Like, on the surface, right? Great family, great else, life, nice dude. It's summer vacation. Hey, dude, my man Danny's slick though, man. Hire somebody else to do the job and then just <laughs> reap the benefits. That means we'll need more senseis. I'm gonna ask you to do more than what's expected. Oh, is it gonna be chosen? But first, you must prove yourself in the way of the fist. It's time to see if you're worthy. Hey! Damn, it is. Welcome to Cobra Kai. Yes! <laughs> From within, baby. From within. Damn, that like definitely went a uh, a different route than I thought was uh, was going to happen. Which I guess, you know, rightfully so. Because um, for, yeah, that whole entire episode, I t uh, definitely thought that it was going to be one of those things where like Danny just gives Chosen the, uh, the keys to the kingdom of just being like, cool, open up a dojo. I'll support you. You can take my kids. And... Technically, right, Miyagi-Do did close, but now there's a new, like, there's a new kid in town now, right? There's a new, uh, new, uh, new business here. Um, but to be fair, I think this is a little bit better because I think what Danny's whole, like, game plan right now is, right, to infiltrate and just, like, break them down from within. How that goes, I don't know. I, that That's anybody's game. But right now we have an early plan of just infiltrating. Uh, um, I guess that's it, right? Just infiltrating, getting in there, seeing what the nitty gritty is, uh, um, you know, taking secrets. I just hope that, I don't think it would ever go this way though. Like Chosen just gets like uh, influenced in some way. Um, but I definitely do feel like with uh, uh, Chosen and um, uh, uh, his history with Sado and Sado knowing, I forgot what they said, uh, uh, Chris or uh, Terry Silver's uh, sensei was, but I feel like, I feel like, uh, uh, or sorry, Terry Silver, um, I feel like Silver or Terry has to eventually pick up on the fact that Chosen might know or like kind of have some history, I guess, uh, and then he'll eventually remember who he is and then kind of put two and two together. That's the only thing I can kind of like think of like uh, um, that's kind of like me shooting my shot, I guess, so to speak. But um, man, I, I do love it, it is nice seeing um, Robbie and uh, Johnny kind of going about their whole little like father son escapades with each other it's been a long time coming they had a feud ship that have lasted what four seasons at this point um and just it was great to kind of see and hear uh, or it was great to see robbie kind of pick up on these little nuances of johnny's character where it's like you know he might not have been there as a father and he might not have he might have like you know fucked up a lot but just hearing that, you know, they went looking for him and they only found the van. Uh, hearing that, you know, he's, you know, being sympathetic to uh, Miguel's mom and, and trying to do right with Miguel and repairing, you know, these things that he's, you know, messed up in the past. It's giving, I feel like, Robbie a little bit better of a perception of who his father has kind of evolved into. Because uh, I think for Robbie, right, he has, like, he's held on for so long a, uh, onto a, um, onto who he thought his father was and and more so an image of who he was versus the person that he became. So to see Robbie kind of get a little bit of like clarity in the sense of like, okay, maybe my dad isn't like as bad uh, is fantastical. Miguel, man, I I'm telling you now, there's something like this man seems too nice, right? Papa Miguel seems too nice on the surface of it. like the way, uh, what's it called? Carmen pretty much said that like, He's a bad man. He's not there. Because like you'd have to think that, I don't think Karma would ever like try to just be like, oh no, I don't want him to meet the father. So I'm trying to paint him as a bad person. I don't think she would ever go about it. That's why I'm thinking that like Miguel's dad has to be something a little bit more sinister than that, right? Which like the nicest of people sometimes can be the most vicious. I don't know. Where do we go with his character? Who he is as a man? Because um, it seems like the way, he seems very respected, right? The way he was going about shaking everyone's hand. But like, is that respect coming from a place of like positive or of fear. Damn. Damn, I don't know. Only time can tell. But really, guys, at the end of the day, what more can I say? These are our Cobra Kai reactions. I'm still your boy, some Joe Schmo. We'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.